ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the star of our show as Joan Rivers, Frank Marino! My name is Frank Marino. I am 46 years old. I've been performing as a female impersonator for over 25 years. It started in Long Island, New York. Uh, while I was going to college, my initial goal was to become a medical doctor. And on weekends, I was working in a very large pharmacy that had a makeup counter in the front. That was probably my biggest problem because I spent more time at the makeup counter than I did behind the pharmacy counter. And I learned how to use all the products. And for Halloween, I dressed up as my idol, Diana Ross. And won a Halloween contest and got hired by an agent to go out on bookings with a Michael Jackson and a, um, other lookalikes and do weddings and bar mitzvahs. And it was great extra money while I was going to college, $150 for like an hour. And then I was getting so lucrative that I thought, let me do something a little easier. I don't really sing and I wanted to be live, so let me do a comedian. And I ended up picking Joan Rivers, because at that time it was Joan Rivers and Phyllis Dillard were the two hottest comedians female out there. And I just took the lesser of two evils. You would not believe what we got going on backstage. We have Madonna, Cher, Beth Midler, and they're all shaving in the same well, year. When I was impersonating Joan Rivers, I decided to go see her perform one day. She was in Atlantic City playing a casino over there. And I went backstage, she was very gracious, she let me come and say hello, and while I was in her dressing room, I met the producers of a show called An Evening at Lacage that had just opened in Atlantic City. Um, they told me the star of that show was going to be a John Rivers impersonator, would I be interested in flying to Beverly Hills and um, audition for their show in Florida. I did go to Beverly Hills, I did get the job, that's when I decided not to go to medical school, and I went to um, Florida for six months. While in Florida, Pia Zadora and her billionaire husband, Michelin Rickless, owned the Riviera and said, wow, this would be a great production for our hotel. And they actually built the Mardi Gras Plaza, which is the mirrored round front of the Riviera Hotel, for our show for a three-month run that ended up running 25 years. Hi, I'm Frank Marino. No, I'm Frank Marino. Okay. okay. We're, We're both, both Frank, Frank Marino. Marino. And you know what? This damn dress, it was made like a cheap hotel. There's no ballroom. You know, I'm actually the longest running headliner in Vegas. That's right. I'm known as the queen of the strip. Just take a look at all my fabulous outfits. And did you know, I'm one of the few people to have a star on Las Vegas Boulevard. I've also been on it with a street bearing my name, Frank Marino Drive. You know, when you come to Vegas, you might drive down it. It also goes both ways. Always making jokes, aren't you? That's what I get paid for. Next time you're vacationing in the Neon City, make sure you catch my performances, Joan Rivers, alongside the other superstars we recreate in the show. When it ended, I was very shocked that the show would close. It was because of the economy. The numbers kept getting lower and lower and lower, and we were up against a uh, big phenomenon called Cirque. So they had the billions of dollars to keep their shows alive, and we were a struggling show. Uh, we did survive 9-11, we survived the war, we survived so much that it was really strange that we weren't able to weather this as well. But the minute that show closed, I went to work trying to get my own show, uh, which I landed six months later, and I call it Divas Las Vegas, and is now the biggest and best drag spectacular in the world. The idea of celebrity impersonations in drag um, was originally started with Lacage, and then I just took the basic idea of me performing as Joan and then my own femme fatale character throughout the rest of the show, and then bringing on all the famous ladies in the strip like Cher, Madonna, Lady Gaga. And what I did, I didn't reinvent the wheel, I just took what Lacage had very cabaret and turned it more VH1 MTV, and that's what I would say the difference between Divas and Lacage is, just more modern and hip. So any night I'll look into the audience and I'll see uh, prom kids to senior citizens. I wanted to make sure there was something in there for everybody. Uh, well, my mom works with us very closely uh, with the show, and she just enjoys the whole glamour part of it. And if you actually saw my mother, she looks like me out when I'm in makeup. And uh, she wakes up looking like a country western star, actually. Um, 
but we're a very close family and she just, you know, she wants her son to do well, so now she does whatever she could to help and she's been a great help in getting people to know about the brand of Divas Las Vegas. I first met Alex in a nightclub 17 years ago and uh, we went for breakfast and we, we hit it off and it actually grew. So I don't ever know if I said, oh, this is the one, uh, but it ended up being the one in time. And I think that's why the relationship uh, keeps growing is because you grow to like each other more and more and more every day. Um, when that stops, then I think it's time that any couple should, you know, look in another direction. It's hard sometimes to work during the day with somebody and then we'll work with them at night as well and then come home with them at night after that. Um, so there are tense moments, but I think every relationship has tense moments. And uh, I always let him have the last word, which is usually yes, dear. Um, the future for me will be um, to work on the show Divas Las Vegas, uh, perfect that as much as I can. I would like to stay in the show myself for maybe five years, and if I'm lucky enough to have even a longer run like we did with Lacage, at that point I would like to uh, scale back and maybe have somebody else do my job, channel my energy through them and let them become a headliner themselves if I could groom somebody in that spot so that I can enjoy all the rewards that I've reaped from doing all these shows and um, the only dream I think I have left is to have, I have a street named after me I have two stars on Las Vegas Boulevard I have uh, movies with big celebrities like Sandra Bullock the only thing I'm missing I like to throw a little shout out there is a wax figure at Madame Trousseau's and here's my point you have RuPaul in New York you have Dame Edna in London you have a Vegas room in Las Vegas and I am the longest running headliner please uh, the best thing about doing my job is that I get to like make people laugh every night. Um, instead of healing them with medicine, like was my initial intention being a doctor, I heal them with laughter. Um, my heroes, or my idols, or my favorite entertainers, if you want, since I'm in entertainment, would be uh, Diana Ross, who I always say, I just love the rags to riches story, and boy do they have riches in that story. And uh, I like Madonna for the... Um, for the being able to change herself and reinvent herself so she lasts so long. And I like Cher, believe it or not, for her, her upfrontness. She says what she's thinking at the moment, she takes nobody's crap. How do I describe Frank Marino? Frank Marino is a workaholic. I wake up in the morning being Frank Marino, so I have to do all Frank Marino's work. Um, and my friends make a joke, oh, you sit in the show for an hour and you tell jokes, and I want to go, if you only knew the half of it. But I mean, all day long will be press, it'll be interviews, it'll be gown fittings, it'll be wig stylings, it'll be uh, hotel meetings, it'll be uh, decisions that are gonna affect uh, long periods of my life. It'll be contracts. Then it's uh, winding down, getting in the shower, and going to work and doing the actual show itself. And then after the show, it'll be the gym, it'll be going to dinner, uh, getting to bed usually at four in the morning, and uh, it's, it's non-stop. People say to me all the time, well, what do you do for fun? And actually, I think I work for fun, because if I wasn't having fun, it would be a lot of work and I did a lot of misery, but it, the good thing is I love what I'm doing. Surprise! Frank Marino, this is Jerry Rivers, and 25 years you've been stealing my fucking material. I am flabbergasted. I mean, I think of all the jokes that I have written that you have taken and used and probably gotten better laughs than I did. Uh, I'm delighted. I'm thrilled, thrilled that you've been doing my act for 25 years. I'm thrilled that you've taken my audiences for 25 years. I'm thrilled that you've stolen my clothes for 25 years. I'm not stupid, Frank. I know when I give it to the thrift shop, I know who comes in the next day. By the way, the one you're wearing now still has menstrual blood in it. Time to get a new one. Anyhow, <laughs> I just want to say, I love you. I think you're wonderful. I think you're an artist. And I hope we have another 25 years together on this show.